Uh, so, welcome everyone, it's me Nasmus here, and in this video we'll take a look at how to install Microsoft Windows 98. So insert the 98 CD in your computer and restart it, and you should see this screen. Then select the boot from CD-ROM option using your keyboard. Then setup, setup should launch, and you should have three options. Typically, you want to click Start Windows 98 Setup from CD-ROM, but sometimes if you need to repair your existing OS or uh, manage some files or if the install is not working properly, uh, you want to click Start Computer with CD-ROM Support, but that's only to troubleshoot issues. I had to do that um, on my old PC once when 98 wasn't installing. But uh, once you select the first option, you should see the Setup Welcome screen. Just press um, Enter to continue. And then select computer un configure unallocated disk space. And then if your disk is uh, greater than 512 megabytes, select yes, enable large disk support. Um, and then you should the PC should restart and boot select boot from CD-ROM once again. Now if it set un unallocated disk space because I had a um, brand new uh, it's a virtual machine with no files on the disk but you might be given partition options and you would want to select the partition you want to install windows 98 to but now it's formatting the disk and remember when it gets to this part any data that was on the disk uh, will be er erased when you're formatting the disk so make sure to back up your files if we have any before installing windows 98 and you could do that by selecting the start computer with cd-rom support we saw earlier or if you have another OS installed, you could uh, use that to do it. But again, a formatting is complete and the setup is preparing. To continue, just press enter. Now this is the scan disk option and uh, what's happening is checking your the hard drive for errors. Uh, I don't think you would skip this. Um, if it's, so even if it takes a long time, just let it, ha let it happen. I tried, but uh, it actually quits setup. So. So it's, yeah, so it'll be done in a bit. Okay, so that's complete. Uh, now the system sh should take you to the graphical part of the setup. Just select continue. If mouse isn't working, use the enter key. And this is where the setup prepares to install Windows 98. Um, in my computer, it got stuck in 99%. Uh, if that happens, just just wait. For me, it took like 15 minutes, but it will get here. And once it does, select the first option, um, then click Next. Um, you could change the directory name, but I recommend just selecting Windows and click next, killing Next. And here it says Preparing Directory. Just wait for it to complete. And once you, uh, okay, so here's checking available disk space. You may want to make sure that your computer has enough free space to install Windows 98. Um, typical options is usually what you pick, but I'm going to go to click custom because I'll, let's check out what options you could enable or disable. If you have accessibility needs, you could uh, enable some accessibility tools like a magnifier. Now, remember, to select additional options, such as accessibility, um, just click the, select the option and click Details. You could also double-click it. Let's see. In Accessories, we have Briefcase. If you want to sync files between PCs using a, using a very uh, early technology, sync technology, um, you could enable Games, a Desktop Wallpapers. You could even... So, basically, check an item to install it and uncheck it to not install it. So, you could, you know, for example, not install paint. Quick view is basically a file viewer before you end up uh, that you could see without requiring a program to view the file. Address book, uh, communications. Usually, these are very outdated, obsolete technology. You probably wouldn't need that unless you're ha you do have a dial-up connection on your old PC and you want to use it. But I doubt many people do. Desktop themes. Again, if you could double click it or click the details button to um, select individual desktop team desktop themes. We have networking tools. You usually don't need these internet tools. Just leave it as is. Um, remember, if you don't want, if you could just also select the checkbox 
uh, without clicking the details button to select all items or none, no items. In multimedia, we have audio compression, CD player. Um, you could enable sample sounds, multimedia sound scheme, so different sound effects for your PC. And there's volume control CD player that you might be interested in. Okay, so I would keep the Web TV unchecked because that's a really early version of Windows Media Center, and it probably doesn't work, it doesn't work anymore. Uh, so here, click next and enter your computer name, and I would leave the work group field as is. You may try a computer description, but you could leave it blank as well. Select your keyboard settings. I have it in the United States. If we need to change it, click the change button and then select your language and start copying the files. This is where the main installing happens. Um, it's going to take a long time, so I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back. I'll see you back in a bit. Okay, I'm back and as you can see, I resumed the recording when it was 98%. Haha, <laughs> get it? 98. Anyway, uh, once it's done, it's going to take a while. This option is going to come you want to click restart now button to restart your PC. If you didn't click it, it would restart automatically. Now Windows is getting, getting ready to run for the first time. So this uh, Windows 98 install is going to ask for some, for some additional information, however. Okay, so Windows is restarting. Okay, user information, just type in your name and the company name. I'm just rolling home because it's a home computer. Well, it's a virtual machine, but I have a home computer that runs 98. If, if Accept the license agreement and click next. This is where you entered the product key. I'm going to pause this video because, because I can't just reveal my product key and I'll be back when I finish typing it. I just click next when you're done. Okay, so you, all the big stuff is finished, so it's ready. Just click finish to uh, finalize the process, setup process. This is our Windows 98 uh, starts the driver installation part. It's going to try to detect your PC and uh, see what drivers are available and install them. If they are not available, you'll be stuck with some basic drivers or some device may not work, and you'll need to manually install it. This takes a long time, so I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back in a bit. Okay, I'm back. Uh, okay, so here, it's I, I it's been a long time right now, so... Okay, then. Oh, good. It's done. Okay, it's been a while, so... Windows uh, is still detecting more drivers. Again, it's going to take a long time. Plug and play of drivers, so I'll pause it. Okay, I'm back. Um, as you can see, I resumed it at 98%. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, Windows is now setting up hardware plug and play. This may also take a long time. Okay, it's done. Uh, just simply click restart now. Now we, sh we should be starting the final stage of our setup. Um, this part should not take that long. By the way, this part takes a long time. I'm just n intentionally not pausing it because if if it's basically doing some updating in the background if this if you're stuck in here just be patient and let it do its thing okay this is the final stage and windows is again uh, finishing the driver installation process you should see the clock setup screen select your time zone and click ok it's now setting up control panel adding shortcuts to the start menu installing windows help and okay so it's updating the system again this might take a long time so i'll be pausing the video and um i'll see you back when this is done okay it's done oh, and we should restart the computer just click the restart now button or you could wait and it's going to restart automatically now we should see the normal desktop windows 98 desktop now again i'm going to pause the video because this takes a long time there you go i'm back um yeah so you could see the windows 8 desk 98 desktop color this user information click ok if you have a password type that in now it's trying to find the drivers and detecting hardware as you could see windows 98 is not finding my hardware so it's going to keep up the default settings or default hardware and we should be on the desktop once it loads
okay we're on the desktop and this is the welcome screen and we can't hear any sounds because I did not install the sound drivers or did not find any sound drivers so okay so we're we have the PC installed and good to go as you can see the stuff are installed I'm gonna try to device device manager to see which drivers are missing hmm oh, yeah it's, you could find that by right clicking my computer so let's do that properties and then select device manager from the top and you could see we have some question marks some drivers it can't find and for the display adapters it's using some basic display hardware so they're running in very low resolution and color it looks very ugly frankly so but we'll fix that group properties and go to settings as you can see we're only running in 16 colors and we can't increase the resolution so yeah there's you could run in two colors but that's a worse option so probably don't want that okay so what we'll do is um what you need to do right now is uh, find the drivers that came with your computer you have to know what hardware is in there and find the disk from the device manufacturer my old pc has an ad ati driver and i have the ati disk uh, the appropriate driver for your hardware needs to be installed. You can't just install any driver, otherwise you will crash your computer and cause a blue screen. I'm running this on a virtual machine, VMware, and VMware uh, gives you uh, drivers for Windows 98. Um, so what I'm going to do is ins insert the VMware driver CD and install the drivers. Again, for a physical PC like I have my old PC, um, you will need to you will need separate driver installation disks um, for sound, video, uh, network, uh, internet, um, mouse, keyboard, perhaps. Most likely not mouse and keyboard, but um, USB devices. You'll need hard, hard drivers for those. So I'm just installing the VMware drivers. Now the VMware drivers will install a lot of devices, uh, including uh, I believe USB support and um, graphics drivers. It does not, for some reason, install the sound drivers. You have to install it manually. Um, I'll have, if I could find the driver uh, on the website, on their website, I'll have a link in the description, in the YouTube this video description. Uh, you, I'll also put a lot of other helpful links in the YouTube video description. So if you need those, you could um, check those out. Okay, so drivers have been installed. And again, this is gonna take a long time, so I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, I'm back, and as you can see, the color screen, the color has been enhanced, the teal color looks much better, and the title bar, as you can see, has a gradient. So, yay for the graphics. And the tour also looks nice. Again, you can't hear any sounds because I have to install the sound drivers. Well, guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, this is only the first part. Uh, what I'm my next video will be about updating Windows 98 with the latest software and updates so you're secure and have the most recent uh, best compatibility. So watch that video and uh, I'll see you in the next one inshallah. And uh, yeah, take a look. The link for the new, um, the next video in this series is next on the description box. Assalamu alaikum.